I'm here with Jesse Rowe, who's a math teacher at Summit San Jose and a Khan Academy teaching fellow. And, and you had some interesting ideas or questions. Yeah, one question that students ask a lot when they start algebra is, why do we need letters? Why can't we just use numbers for everything? Why letters? So like, why do we have all these X's and Y's and Z's and ABC's when we start dealing with, with algebra? Yeah, exactly. That's interesting. Well, why don't we let people think about that for a second? So Sal, how would you answer this question? Why do we need letters in algebra? So why letters? So I, I, there's a couple of ways I'd, I'd think about it. One is, is if you have a, an unknown. So if I were to write x plus 3 is equal to is equal to 10. The reason why we're doing this is we don't know what x is. It's, it's literally an unknown. And so we're going to try to solve for it in some way. But it did not have to be the letter x. We could have literally written blank plus 3 is equal to 10. Or we could have written question mark plus 3 is equal to 10. So it didn't have to be letters, but we needed some type of symbol. It literally could have been smiley face. Smiley face plus 3 is equal to 10. Uh, but until you know it, you needed some type of a symbol to, to represent whatever that number is. Now we can go and solve this equation and then know what that symbol represents. But if we knew it ahead of time, it wouldn't be an unknown. It wouldn't be, a, it, it wouldn't be something that we didn't know. So that's one reason why, why I would use uh, letters. Uh, and, and where just numbers by itself wouldn't be helpful. The other is when you're describing relationships between numbers. So I could do something like, um, I could say that whenever you give me, you, if you give me a 3, I'm going to give you a 4. And I could say if you give me a 5, I'm going to give you a 6. And I could keep going on and on forever. If you give me a, if you give me a 7.1, I'm going to give you an 8.1. And we could give, I could keep listing this on and on and on forever. Maybe you could give me any number and I could tell you what, what I'm going to give you. But it would obviously, I'd run out of space and time if I were to list all of them. And we could do that much more, I, I guess, elegantly if we, if we used letters, if we to describe the relationship. Maybe what you give me, we call x. And what I give you, I, we call y. And so I would say, look, whatever you give me, I'm going to add one to it. And that's what I'm going to give back to you. And so now, this very simple equation here, can describe an infinite number of, of relationships between x, or an infinite number of cor corresponding y's and x's. So now someone knows, hey, whatever, whatever x you give me, you give me 3, I add 1 to it, and I'm going to give you 4. You give me 7.1, I'm going to add 1 to it and give you 8.1. So you, there's, there's no more elegant way that you could have done it than using symbols. With that said, I didn't have to use x's and y's. This is just a convention that kind of comes to us from history. I could have defined what you give me as star and what I give you as, I don't know, as, as smiley face. And this also would have been a valid way to express this. So the letters are really just symbols, nothing more.